Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and this, this is a this is a command section, a higher command section. Now I built this for the uh, Becker's Commands painting challenge uh, earlier this year in support of our, our good friend Paul uh, where we all set to and built command sections um, and made a series of videos about it. So why the dickens am I showing you something I made earlier this year? Well, I was looking at this the other day and it, it, it got me thinking that I like the way I put this together. I, li I like the, the composition of the units. So we've got the um, the high officer, so the major or the captain there. We've got his his grizzled sergeant right hand man at his side there. And at the back, we have a radio operator. I like I like the um, the way that went together. And so I've decided to make one for my um, Normandy-based late war Germans for bolt action. So I thought I'd make a, a video about it. They seem to be quite popular. Um, people enjoying what I do and go away and make stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, if you've seen any of the previous kit bashing videos, you'll, uh, you might appreciate the drill by now. So I've told you what I'm going to do, what I want and how I want it to look. I'm going to go away make it, come back, show you what I've done and talk you through exactly the bits and pieces that I used to make the thing that I'm working towards. So just to recap, what I'm going to do, it's going to be a three man command section, higher officer, sergeant and a kit bashed radio operator. It's going to be a three man higher HQ section. So what I'm going to do now is ordinarily I'd go away drink coffee and listening and listen to some music while doing my kit bashing uh, i'm probably going to date the video by saying this but uh given how unspeakably hot it is at the moment i won't be drinking coffee i'll be drinking some form of cold beverage instead but still listen to music um what i'm gonna do is go away make the thing i'm going to make and i shall come back presently and show you what i've done and how i made it so i shall see you all in a little bit and just like that, I'm back and I've finished all three. Didn't take too long, to be fair. Only three, so um, not exactly what you call a full day's um, kit bashing or even afternoon. Um, about an hour, hour and a half. And that, and that was also incorporating lunch. Um, but less, less waffle, more kit bashing. So let's have a look what I've been up to. Um, as I normally do, I'll chew with the camera, get the autofocus in, in a bit better here. As you'll see, uh, where is it? I suffered a war wound during this um, this episode of kit bashing. I had a slight a slight shenanigan with a craft knife. Um, there wasn't much claret, but yeah, still hurt. Anyway, back onto the figures. So here we have the higher officer. Now he's going to be a captain or a major. So how have I made this chap? See if we can get the focus a bit better on this. So. As you can see, he's based. Um, his body is based on the uh, a winter German uh, great coat from the from the winter German set. And after that, it's a whole host of bits and pieces. So, I want rather than him clutching a pistol, um, I think that's sometimes a bit a bit, a bit too cliche. I like my uh, my higher officer, higher officer to be holding um, uh, SMGs. So there's no no exception here with this this, this machine pistol. Now the, the the two arms are actually from. The plastic um, Falsham Jaeger box. Okay, what I did, I've just, I've just, I've cut the sling off the um, off the the machine pistol. I don't like the ones that go around the neck. I don't know. It just it, it looks it looks cumbersome. So I've I've removed that. It doesn't look too bad then. The left arm is the uh, Falsham Jaeger arm that's normally clutching binoculars. But if you've seen my uh, video I released a couple of weeks back about the um, kit bashing a section of Brandenburgers, I've gone for the same same left arm as uh, this dude here. As you can see, there's a bit more work on that, but I'll be doing it in a later video. So this guy, so that hand, so the left hand is actually from the uh, the Opal Blitz um, plastic set. In that you get a number of, um, of dudes that sit in the back and there's a, a bunch of bits and pieces on that sprue and there's a couple of hands that are meant to be resting on knees um, but i like the way they're open like that it looks like they're, they're giving orders or signaling or something so just a case of cutting the hand off holding the binoculars 
attaching the, the hand from the Opal Blitz. A uh, bit of green stuff just to um, smooth it out a tad. And that was the arms done. And then the head is just a an officer's head from the uh, the plastic grenadiers box and a, a bit of equipment. So ammunition pouch and a map case. And there we have it. One higher officer, so a captain or a major or what have you. But he didn't take too long at all. So onto his assistant, hit the grizzled sergeant. So here, here we have the grizzled sergeant. As a lot of my um, my kit bashes, this is based on or based around the um, a body from the the plastic grenadier box. Uh, a bit of equipment, so ammo again, ammo pouches and just some basic equipment there. So bread bag, uh, roll and uh, water bottle. So onto the arms. Now the arms are both from the Winter German set, and ordinarily, I mean, I, I did I did a very similar arm kit bash uh, or modification again on the Brandenburger video so normally this arm has a sling going from the back to the front or from the front to the back if you're that way inclined um but it wouldn't well as he's got as he's equipped with the zelt barn it wouldn't it wouldn't fit flush so i i removed it it just came off again um very easy to uh, to cut down file down the excess with a, a, a file and just a very sharp craft knife <coughs> as you can tell um to get rid of that sling and it just looks like he's holding holding the um the assault rifle with no sling and then that arm is just clutching binoculars so yeah uh, and you got to complete the grizzled veteran look i've given him it's a hair it's a, a plastic head from the ss box he's got a bandage over his left eye like he's been in the thick of the action as all grizzled sergeants should be so that is his assistant Okay, now on to the last dude. Now this is this is the radio operator, so a bit more work went into this. In fact, I spent longer on this than the other two probably combined. And this is what the radio operator looks like. So, quite, quite a few bits and pieces knocking around on this one. Again, it's based around a plastic grenadier body. Uh, and the arms are from the um, the Winter German set. And I've left the cuffs on, rather than green stuff them out or... or um, file them down I, I tend to leave the cuffs on sometimes this gives a bit more of a, a diverse look on the tunics so he's holding some orders given that he's a radio operator i'll get to that in a second um so that arm that arm's a stock standard arm this one isn't well it is but i've done quite a bit of work on it this in the winter it's from the winter german box but ordinarily it's got no um magazine and there's, there's no ordinarily a sling on there as well uh, and the left arm is holding the empty oh, the, the the next magazine and he's you know looks like he's he's going to be loading the weapon so what i did i cut away the sling as you can see all cut away i then had to get a new magazine because that one didn't have one and it wouldn't fit over the sling anyway so that was a good way of getting rid of it and then carefully sanding it down filing it down and just very simply attaching it so the stg44 has now got a magazine in it rather than the empty one that it previously was uh, head is from the um the plastic grenadier box so on to the radio my kit bashed radio i've done this quite a few times again we have the same guy here oh, different guy but it's a very similar radio now the way i build these is quite quick i always as a base i always use it's a rucksack from the death core of krieg um, from Forge World. Um, I don't. I have them. I've never used them. Never painted them. It's a. It's a, a long, sad tale about why I, how I actually own them. But I won't get into that right now. So what I've then done to actually build a radio is it's just a panel from an old, an old tank, uh, spare bits and pieces, just chopped down, put over the over the back of it, just to just to bulk it out and hide that sort of fantasy look that the uh, the rucksack's got. Um, and then. I th the aerial mount there, I th again, I think that's from a tank. I'm not quite sure. And then what I've done is just green stuffed around the sides at the bottom. It looks really rough at the moment. Uh, it's still it's still not fully dry. Once that's fully dry, I'll go in with um, a piece of sandpaper or a file. And that shall be filed very, very smooth. But that's that's, that's the way about kit bash radios. And it's it's really simple. So what I'll do is when, once that's finished, um, as you'll see on this one here, so the aerial that he's got there, if you can see, can you see that? That's actually um, 
guitar string. I've got quite a quite a few bits of guitar string hanging around because I I don't tend to restring my guitars very much. It's very lazy of me. Um, but again, I digress. So that is the third guy, and that's the radius. Once that's done, I will once he's painted, I will add the aerial at the end of that process. But there we have it. So another higher command section for my late war Germans. Again, not not much not much time gone into it. I, I think most of it went into the um, the guy with the, with the with the radio. He was quite quite involved. Let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, all, all in all, really enjoyable little build. Um, I fair melted, and I've probably lost about a third of my body weight while making these. But that's that's a that's a something pro most people probably don't want to hear about. Um, but I'm waffling again. Um, hope you found that that video interesting i know a lot of people ask me a lot of questions about kit bashing um and i'm, I'm going to keep doing it I, I just i just love making making models really unique and individual models to my army if you've got any questions or comments about this or gaming or kit bashing in general just leave them down below and i'll certainly respond to all comments and questions uh, in the description in the description below, there's also a link to our new Facebook group. So feel free to join and womble along and hang out with us on Facebook. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching. Uh, do take care. Make your dice roll well. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So bye-bye for now.